and welcome to another video. Today's video is going to be rather educational more than anything and it's going to be about PetSmart slash Petco versus feed stores. Okay guys, so feed stores, if you've never been to one, is basically your local like farmer type mom and pop shop that they sell pets, uh, like pet stuff. Um, you usually see that the, you walk in and there's just buckets and buckets of like food for the animals and there's also like hay and everything you basically need that you would find at a local pet store like PetSmart and Petco. Okay guys, so here's the differences of PetSmart and Petco. Okay guys, let's do a little price comparison. With PetSmart and the feed store with Timothy Hay, the packet for PetSmart was $7.99. As you can see, it is a smaller packet. I'm not quite sure what the ounces are of each bag, but you can tell it's clear as day that the feed store one is a lot bigger than the PetSmart one. And the feed store costs $3.80. But if you feel more comfortable shopping at PetSmart and you trust it, just know that you're gonna pay a little more hefty price for a lesser quantity. Okay, as for the chinchilla food, for a five, uh, for a five pound bag of chinchilla food at PetSmart, it's $10.48. Sounds like a good deal, right? Well, when you look at the feed store, you can get almost a six pound bag for $4.80. That's less than 75 cents a pound, which is a pretty good price on the count of it's your pet's food and they eat a lot. Okay, as for the food bowl. The food bowl is where the PetSmart kind of wins here at its price of $8.99. Although, if you do see, the feed store is metal, is a stainless steel metal bowl and has a connector to the cage. The, although PetSmart also has a connector to the cage, cage, it is made out of plastic, which is very dangerous for chinchillas, and you always want to avoid putting plastic in their okay, home. Another big difference is the atmosphere. The atmosphere at a feed store feels very comfortable when you walk in, somebody greets you and asks you what type, uh, type of animal you have. When I say chinchillas, sometimes they get a little confused, but some, most of the time, they will point me to the right direction of the information. When you're walking into PetSmart or Petco, it's kind of just not the same. You saw in my first video when I got my chinchilla that I asked and I, they had me waiting for like 30 minutes because someone was on break and because they didn't know anything about chinchillas and they wanted to get me someone who did. And it's just like, you could tell the difference between a retail store and between a little mom and pop. And it's just so comfortable to like walk into feed stores. If you don't believe me, you should always try out yourself. Just search up local feed stores in my neighborhood and I recommend it's okay, a great So another better thing about feed stores versus Petco is basically the knowledge and the experience. Okay, so when I walked into Petco, and I asked questions like, I would get very moody attitude. Um, I would just get, um, I would see that the animals weren't really, really being properly like cared for. And you hear like horror stories between Petco and PetSmart throwing away animals, like not treating them, they're malnourished. But you go into a feed store and when they actually have animals, cause it's very like slow sometimes, um, you are supporting your local farmers in the area and you're supporting that the way they're treating the animals and you can just tell that they're treated so much better like I went to go see the bunny cages which in fact bunnies at like feed stores are only like eight dollars six to eight dollars is what I noticed I got my guinea pig for six dollars at a feed store rather than Petco where you would get it at 29 to 30 to 40 dollars and I'm not sure how much they spent like rabbits cost but anyway <laughs> you go and they're just so nice they can tell you like their name they can tell you when they were born if you ask Petco they'll say I don't know they can't be more than a year old and to me that's not fun because I don't know how old my chinchilla is and that's pretty like upsetting because if I ever want to throw him a birthday party I can't throw him a birthday party <laughs> and yeah that's okay, not so fun. final thoughts on this video guys is I do love PetSmart and Petco. I mean, sometimes they do have things that I won't find at a local feed store. Like I won't find a bed for my animal or anything like that. Well, for chinchillas for that matter. You can find a big bed for a dog or anything. But feed stores do have a lot of things that Petco have. But if you ever just like wanna know what you're gonna do to get the best deal, I would compare the two prices. Maybe when you're at 
the feed store. Have your phone ready to look what price you would get it at PetSmart or Petco. And yeah, guys, this is all like my opinion and you're free for your opinion too. So if you like this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Go ahead and leave some comments in the comment section if you guys have any thoughts on feed stores or if you thought some of my points were really good points or if you did not agree, you can also feel free to leave that in the comment section. Okay guys, and if you're not already subscribed to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you wanna see that I post videos every Friday and get notified about it, go ahead and hit the little bell notification icon on the corner. Okay guys, this is a great video and I hope you guys have learned something today. Bye, thank you.